I don't think this area is going to work. Location? What about straight that way? Location? A quarter mile from the lake. Location. If we don't find anything better, then, then we can come back. It's said to be one of the most important factors when choosing a home. Well, the same can be said about building a bald eagle's nest. I'm hoping to find that tree that we look at and we're like, all right, this is it. I can see the eagles nesting in this spot. Tuck Jacobson and Kyle McCarty are eagle biologists for Arizona Game and Fish. The branches are still pretty small. Today, they're at Lynx Lake on the Prescott National Forest, searching for the perfect nesting tree. It's, it, it's been more difficult than I, than I expected to find, find that tree. They're looking for something that's not too small, not too brittle, and not too close to hiking trails. We're kind of trying to find that Goldilocks zone. The, 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 we're looking for that area that has the tree that's tall enough uh, and big enough to support an eagle's nest. But at the same time, we want to find that tree in a location that's not on a, on a hiking trail. Um, we're trying to avoid the issues of having to close those trails down. Closing the area around an eagle's nest is sometimes necessary during breeding season. That's when human activity can flush eagles off their eggs or away from their chicks, and the consequences can be deadly. I think it would be a good spot to put a platform, bad spot in relation to the trail. We've had a, a pair of bald eagles nesting here for about 15 years. Uh, they've nested in several different nests around the lake, but this last season, all of their nests uh, were blown out of trees in a big storm. Uh, the tree they're nesting in actually got blown over. Not much left of it. So at, at this point, we know the, the pair is going to have to build a new nest for, for next year. It's the perfect opportunity to find a tree that works for eagles and won't interfere with public recreation. We're getting closer. Closer. After several hours of searching, they have some options, but nothing to get really excited about. We'll keep looking, see if we can find a better option, and, and hope to have a platform up here uh, in the next month or so. We're going to be collecting um, branches and sticks. Seven weeks later, October 20th, the biologists had finally located a tree and were ready to start building a nest with help from the Forest Service. You look right through here, see that nice, nice big tall tree? Yeah. That is it. Oh, this tree is going to be a, it should be an easy tree to climb. The hard part is, is going to be standing up there and getting the nest positioned and built. That's, that's what's going to take some time. So we can use uh, some help, a couple people at least, someone to haul up this uh, nest platform, and then I'll guide it towards you. There you go. Nice. You got full slack. You all right? <laughs> Who made these so heavy? Everything's heavy 80 feet up. So right now, we just got the platform up. You got it situated and now he just has to find the best supporting branches of the tree to make sure it'll be nice and stable. And then once he finds those, he's gonna take some baling wire, fix it onto the tree, and then whenever it gets to a, a nice secure position, we'll start stacking sticks up there and yeah. building the nest like the birds would. I like it. I'm ready for sticks. All right, incoming. There are no trails near here. There, uh, there's no recreation uses in the area. It's time to think like a bird. Get those sticks in right. Prescott National Forest is very excited to collaborate with the Game and Fish. We've been managing bald eagles at Lynx Lake since their early 2000s when they came in and took over an osprey nest. They fly all around this area. They've got a nest further upstream from here or had one. This is an area they're familiar with. So we're balancing what people want with what wildlife needs. We have built uh, artificial nests and or alternate nests for uh, eagles before and they have used them. At this point it's just wait for the eagles to do their part of the job. Keep our fingers crossed. We're just so excited to be able to provide this opportunity for the eagles to nest and for the recreation to continue. Uh, unfortunately they didn't select that site. They built their own right next to the water. Next year we might get lucky. They might end up using the nests in the spot that we thought was good. Oh, or they may continue to use the ones they pick. <laughs>